So there's been some questions recently on one of the Reddit forums about uh, the haptics that are in the Steam controller or the, the Steam VR controller with the Vive, and I haven't actually used that, uh, so I don't know how relevant this will be. But I do happen to have one of the really old Steam controllers uh, that uh, in implements a type of haptics that sounds like the same thing that they've been talking about even back in this really, really old model. Uh, so I figured I'd give a really quick demonstration of what that is. Uh, may, might give people an idea of what Steam controller does, as, or the Steam VR controller does as well. Uh, so first off, it should be noted that uh, each of the individual touchpads has a uh, motor underneath it and that can be used for haptics but also for things like sound if you could hear that little beep there that's actually produced by just vibrating the uh, the motors under the touchpad and they act as speakers at that point um, and you can there's other things you can do to trigger it like double tap you can hear that and it's, it's just indicating that you're clicking on something in that case uh, but the more interesting thing is that if you uh, depending on how it's been configured, and in this case it's set up to act as kind of a, a keyboard and mouse, so this pad is uh, mouse cursor control, and this is this pad is like basic WASD, uh, but the mouse, the uh, mouse pad is something where hopefully you can hear that. Um, as I move my finger across it, you can kind of hear that clicking noise, and that's it's vibrating the pad in a way that feels an awful lot like a uh, a mouse wheel. So if, if you just take your mouse wheel and sit and spin it, it's it's very much like that. And you'll also notice that if I just uh, swipe my finger across it really quickly, the clicking doesn't actually stop the moment my finger leaves the pad. It it still clicks for a moment. And if you were if you could see the mouse cursor on screen, it actually continues traveling. It has a little bit of momentum. So this actually acts a lot like a, a trackball. And um, those little haptic bumps give uh, a nice sense of of what it's doing, even if you're not looking down at it directly. Now, they talk about uh, things like simulating friction and whatnot. If I'm just dragging my finger across this, um, there's the option of having it go really, really smoothly or providing some of that haptic feedback as I go, which could act as a proxy for something like friction. And I don't, once again, I don't know if that's actually what they're doing, but it would seem fairly fairly reasonable to me based on uh, my experience with this device and um, I'm sure that they're using some of the, the same principles in their newer controllers. So that's all. Hopefully some of you find that interesting.